Okay, welcome to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Thank you. I am so excited. This is amazing. How do you feel? Is this like a good moment for you? Yes, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a surprise because, you know, it's been 45 years in the making, you know, since uh, since I was with Roxy and, you know, we've been around a long time. Now, have you been counting down the days? Like, was this one of the things that you were hoping you could check off the bucket list? <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't say it was, it was too unexpected, so I, I, I wouldn't say it was on my bucket list particularly, you know. <laughs> No, I'm just glad, glad that it's, you know, it happened with one of the bands I played with, because I played with lots of groups, and you know, I played with Jethro Tull and Frank Zappa and my own band, UK, and so, so I'm glad that one of them has sort of been recognized. Yeah, and congratulations. I'm also proud that I'm, I'm the first rock violinist in the Hall of Fame, so that's... Is that true? The first one, yeah, so that's, that's good for... That's very for, special. For, for all the young kids, uh, you know, who are practicing that's violin, you know, this could, and this, the, this could happen. Yeah, you know? and they think like, oh, mom, I don't want to play violin, it's right. stupid. No, it's not. Right, well, I started when I was seven years old, and so, you know, it's, it shows that there's another outlet other than just being in a classical orchestra. Now, was there a moment where you thought, you know what, maybe if I played guitar, I'd be cooler? Like, did you ever want to do anything else? No, not really. I was always a piano player and a violinist, you know, so... Uh, and I, I put a pickup, electric pickup on my violin when I was like 15 years old and, you know. You were already a rock star. Yeah, so here I am, yes. Yes, indeed. Now, the, the first time I ever heard of Roxy Music was when John Taylor from Duran Duran mm -hmm. started talking about you guys. Yeah. And I thought, oh, who's that? And, I, and then I understood. Yeah. I understood the whole history after yeah. that. Yeah, John, John, John's been a fan since he was, if it, when I first met John, he told me he got my autograph when he was 12. So, <laughs> so yeah, they, they followed Roxy for a long time, especially in Birmingham where they lived. You know, they used to come to all the concerts. Um, yeah. who, who are these guys? Hi guys, come on in. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Carrie, how are you doing? Hi, come on in. Great to meet you here. This is this is the world right here, and they're all here to celebrate you guys. Roxy Music right here being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Fantastic. How do you well, feel? Thrilled. Yeah, thrilled are you, to be. Are you here. nervous? No, no. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Be, this, the hoopla, more hoopla. I like it. You like when people are screaming and yelling at you, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, the more the merrier. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I was just telling him that when I first got introduced to Roxy Music, it was through John Taylor from Duran Duran. He was talking about you guys and said how wonderful that he thought you were, and he's here tonight to induct you guys. That's got to be a special moment for him, but, I mean, it's a pretty great moment for you. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we met him, like, uh, 81, 82, and uh, so we've been bumping into them for, for years, and you've worked with... Yeah, I've worked with them on, on the Arcadia. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that was... Uh, that small it. album? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, great. No, they're great guys. Yes, and they're going to be here, and they're going to be introducing you guys, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, because I'm a Duran Duran fan, I'm a Roxy Music fan. That's how that works. We just go down the line. Now we know. <laughs> and that's why this is so important, that people keep talking about the music that they love, because you keep discovering really great music that you wouldn't necessarily be yeah. in front of. Yeah, yeah, yes. Exactly. Okay, do you guys have any wonderful holy shit moments in your career that you can share with us? <clears throat> well, it was, there's that special hotel in Cleveland. Uh -huh. Swingos. Swingos. Celebrity Inn. Yeah, Celebrity Inn, yeah, that, that is, was just amazing. On our first tour in America, staying there, actually I've got lots of Super 8 footage of it. Each room was different. We, we thought that was fantastic. You know. so, tell me more about this hotel. <laughs> no, I won't, can't tell you more about it, but we, it was great. So we loved that. Cleveland was always great for us. So it's great that the Rock and Roll Hall, Hall of Fame is in Cleveland, you know, so, uh, because they were very special. And that DJ, who used to really love her. Kid Leo. Kid Leo. Yeah. Kid. Yeah, the MMS, yeah. That's right. He played Roxy all the time. And so the, the, the concerts in Cleveland were always very special. We could, we could tell who the audience were walking to the, to the concerts because they were always dressed up in top hats and tails and, and the women were dressed up in 1930s, you know, veils and, uh, and you know, pencil skirts and all that kind of thing. You could see oh, cool. canes and top, you know, it's just very formal. And you could see the Roxy crowd like going to the concerts, you know, back in the early yeah. 70s. In we don't do that anymore. No, in, in sort of every industrial town, there was, whether it was in Germany or in America or in the UK, 
you'd find this little hardcore of people who came to Roxy gigs dressed up and looking amazing. You know, to the like, nines, yeah, yeah. I tried. I tried for you guys yeah, today. I, I know it's different. It's not the period that, that's the same. Very Roxy, very glam, actually. <laughs> the, the glitter thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> High glam, of course. Yeah. But of course. Yeah, yeah. Are there any other artists that have been inducted or maybe are being inducted today that you guys are fans of? Well, tons of them. Radiohead, I love. I love Def Leppard, you know. Uh, you know, Sleepy Nick. So uh, we just love music, you know, and uh, we always love American music and British music. But it's great that there are so many British uh, bands being inducted right. tonight. So that's really cool. It is a great year. I'm so happy to have you guys here. <laughs> do we have fan questions? We do. Do we have fan questions? Okay, what, what one Roxy song is closest to your heart or evokes the most memory of the period it was written in? That's from Tammy from Ontario. I, don't know, I think Virginia Plain, which was our first single, you know, the, the, and uh, and was a sort of uh, quite a hit in, in the UK. I remember recording that. It wasn't on our first album, um, and we we recorded it later. It was a great. So I remember recording that, and we were recording it in London in, in Piccadilly by Piccadilly Circus in a studio, and we were recording a real motorbike sound in the street outside. I always thought it was really funny. That's very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piccadilly Circus. At those days, <coughs> that was considered outrageous. Well, yeah. yeah. It, I think nowadays it, it is too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the police never caught him. But uh, <laughs> the roadie, yeah, John Rag. Anyway, yeah. Thank you guys yeah, Thanks. so Thanks very, very much. much. Congratulations. Well deserved. I can't wait to see you inside. Thank you, Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.